Hello everyone, welcome to Green Learner. In this video series, I am going to explain about Spring Cloud Open Theme. It is used to call third party REST services. It is used to consume third party microservices that are over there. Okay, this is the declarative style of calling microservices. One other way was there that I al have already explained to you was Spring REST template that we used right so in this video we are going to explain about spring cloud theme, open fin and we will compare it with rest template also and then we'll see which one is easy and more effective to use right so let's go ahead and start this okay this is open fin. so what is spring cloud open fin all about it is declarative rest client fin creates a dynamic implementation of an interface decorated with jax rs or spring mbc annotation it means you just have an interface and annotate it with scene annotations and rest of the things will be implemented by Spring Boot or Open Fee, Open Fee libraries itself by detecting those annotations, right? So first annotation is enable Fee clients. This is the core. When you write this enable Fee clients on your main application class, it scans for interfaces that declare they are fiend clients via fiend client at fiend client annotations. So when you have at enable fiend client, so it is going to scan all of your project directories that are over there and it will look for this at fiend client annotation. If there is any interface which is annotated with this at fiend client annotation, what will happen then? It will it will consider that interface which is annotated at fin client as to implement it internally as a service which will call a third party right so see what is fin client this is the annotation for interfaces declaring that a rest client with that interface should be created example for auto wiring into another component fin client annotation you are putting on interface so it will consider that it is going to call a third party rest service right so fin clients configuration how can we do this okay so spring cloud creates a new ensemble as an application context right on demand for each named client using flying fin clients configuration this contains an fin dot decoder or fin encoder and fin contract okay so you see this is the interface that it has and this is the fin client annotation okay and this is the name that we have to give to this service uh, this theme client name it is mandatory and i have to give it and this is the configuration that it is taking right so it's better to understand this in example so move ahead and see the simple example to understand it more so this is the theme client demo project i already have created if you want to create it from scratch i can help you with that so you go to start.spring.io right so any project that you want to select you can go ahead with map and or gradle also language spring boot version you project metadata you can specify here right in here you can see theme client demo any project name you can give so under dependencies web is there to make your microservice as a rest service okay then we have open theme this open theme dependency is there that will help me to use the theme client libraries and use the annotations that are over there okay so this is it you just go ahead and generate this project here and open it in daily idea here i have done the same thing here I generated that and open it in daily idea right so if i show you the build.gradle file it is taking starter web and open theme only test is there for testing purpose it gets added automatically right so uh, notice the name of the this spring cloud starter open theme so it is related to spring cloud project that they have and there is starter open theme okay so this is the main class that we usually have with spring boot application so this add enable anode add enable fin client is there to scan all the direct classes that you have interfaces you have to look for enable fin that i showed you in the presentation 
if i go to enable theme clients this so you can see the more information about this is scans for interfaces that declare their theme clients right so let me move ahead and show the controller to you so this is the controller that we are going to use so it is the user and id and mapping so user service it is calling the get user id and see this user service main thing is this user service here right this is the interface this is the i am annotating it with at scene client and giving it name scene service these are the properties that i have to give right this is the url remember this is the base url that i want to call spring data demo if you following the tutorials you can understand that what it is and you can have any service that you want any rest service that you want you should put the url of that service here right so this is the spring data demo and this has different endpoints that we are using here so for this example i am going to make use of this get user i will pass a particular id and will give me the result okay so this theme client demo theme client its name its url okay for simplicity i am using only two properties as of now okay so this is the name of the user service and this is the first call that we are making we are getting the user right we are annotating it with get mapping passing user id and variable so this user id will get appended after this one right or you can say this is the base this is the base url this is the actual endpoint that you are going to call so see the simplicity right so it is similar that you are writing a rest service if you, i go to controller of this one so this is the same get user id and this and this path variable string id so this part i can copy paste it and copy it and paste it there and i can use the field client annotation and it will call the that endpoint for me this one right so this path variable string id will get mapped with this id right so whatever id is being passed here it will be considered here okay so this is simple right so if only three classes so one is dto that i have used so the user that it is going to return i have to map this uh, with the user object also right so i can do that with this i have taken the same user id so it doesn't need to be the same name user but the properties that they have that should be same first name last name address and all these stuff it should be same right so this is all for calling a simple first endpoint get endpoint right so i can go ahead and start this application and show you the actual thing how it is working or not so i just trigger the run one okay so the application is running now so it is on port 8080 so i can go ahead local host 8080 and user and inside user i can pass the id which id i want to fetch suppose 6 i want to get see i got the result id first name selden and if i go to the original service that they have if i pass the id 6 i will get the same result see id 6 selden cooper mail new york us right so see how simple it is to call the another rest service with this theme client right if you remember the rest template that we had then i had to create a rest template class its object and configure that also right but in theme client you just create an interface this user service interface is main here right then i can go ahead and call another in, other endpoints that they have this uh, user list they have i can get that also by copying this part only and putting at there right so it will give me the list of users that are there i can get the post mapping also okay so this is the simple one you can go ahead and try that if it is working or not in the next video i am going to explain further how to add user how to update and delete and more about fin client its internal working and all those stuff right so till then you play around with this so for code part i am going to push it on this repository that we have this will be green learner spring boot and 
you go to here green learner so i have not created the repository for fin as of now i'll create that you can get that here so i'll put the link in description box itself you can get directly from there right so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care